remember Nick going into the bunker, whatever no. it was called, the boiler room. I can. I can remember Danny pushing him through because it reminded me when he did it with Ari. Oh, yeah, I've never seen anyone go slow, so yeah. slow down a yeah. tunnel. <laughs> um, oh, SJ was bringing out the tears. A good move. She said, wouldn't it be rad for a silly old 65-year-old to get to the final three? Oh, yes. <laughs> wouldn't it be rad? Would be rad. <laughs> I'd love to get to the final three with you, Danny. Ra- that would be rather rad. What's Danny's it? surname again? Danny uh, Hayes. Hayes. <laughs> you, me, Danny Hayes, <laughs> and the chocolate chips. Um, <laughs> I want Brenton to go because he's so boring. I've written. Mm, he is, isn't he? Robo- boy. Robotic. Yeah. The robotic Dan Osborne. In the vote, Marley voted out Brenton. Jess voted out Brenton. Adriana voted out SJ. Oh, because that's Danny's plan. Danny yeah. can't decide, and he no, votes out Christina. Christina. That that doesn't suit Danny, doing that can't decide gameplay, does it? Also, you can't decide between Brenton and, and SJ. SJ, so you go for Christina, mm. like because it didn't matter. It was just a safe, I can understand a safe not, vote. Yeah, but I can understand not being able to decide between Christina and SJ because because mm. he's known them for a long time, as yeah. he says. But Brenton, he's nothing to it, anyone. He's born. Mm. He's the brawn that Danny needed. So the result was Christina got the one vote mm. from Danny. SJ got three votes, mm. and then Brenton got eight votes. Mm. Danny said, "I left you alone. I'm a moral guy." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this paid off in later later days, didn't it? Who did he say it to? Christina. Uh, SJ. No, to SJ. Mm. Um, thank you, Danny. Um, <laughs> Brenton was talking like a robot in the taxi I've written. I don't know what he said. A daytime eviction, the shame of it. Yeah, the it shame. doesn't feel right, does it? It's no. like the two by two. Evicted in the day. It don't. It's, no one wants that. <laughs> you want to go back to the hotel and have a drink, not, you know, have, you an, still uh, can. have an OJ. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a mimosa. <laughs> oh, God. Commismosas. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so full up. Right. Shall we continue cottage. on to the next episode? The guy who delivered my chicken cottage, he was a cutie. He probably only about looked about probably six, just finished six four. About sixteen, but it was a cutie <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> God, I'm right on pervert this episode. Right Not this bag. episode, just this. Oh, the, old, the old bags are back. You know that. Including me in there. <laughs> um Big Brother. Episode Said, 19. in the morning of the next day, housemates, bedding and mattresses to the yard. Mm. Tilly goes, I don't understand, you mean everything? Mm-hmm. Um, so the bedding was all going into storage because in Hell Week, you can't sleep in a bed, you can only sleep in a sleeping bag outside. Mm, makes sense. There was a bit of an overheard conversation here. <gasps> Did if you, you could it? rename yourself, <laughs> what would it be? And Ari said he would rename Jess Vox. Vox, I thought it was Fox. Oh, it could have been. Could be Vox. Vox Pops. <laughs> Either is quite bizarre. <laughs> Christina reflects on losing Brenton. She said, I really have to fight for my life in here. I want Jess gone. Jess put me in The Walking Dead and got Brenton out. This is mm. where Christina's like origin story yeah. begun. Mm, yeah, because I put, who the hell was Christina friends with before? Because I couldn't remember. Was it Ari? Christina was friends with Ari and Charlotte the First. Ah, Do you okay. remember? Because okay. she, remember, Christina started to say, uh, we need to keep people like whoever in here because they can win competitions and we can't. Right, okay. Now she's come with the fight mm. talk, finally. Danny said, Big Brother <laughs> asked me, what do you think of Hell Week? I said, when's it going to start? Ah, <laughs> oh, Danny. <laughs> what a baller. <laughs> That's so good. So what's this panic room task fit oh. for Hell Week? If you're happy and oh. you know it, clap your hands. No, all I ever wanted is to <laughs> see you dancing. Du, 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 Bass hunter. Oh, is that how that goes? Yeah, all now I ever wanted gone. is to see you dance. Yeah. Is that yeah, the chorus? Yeah, you're gone. Du, 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 du. Reminds me of that. This is a song <laughs> that <laughs> never <laughs> ends. <laughs> it just goes on and on, my friend. What's that? Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever, just because this is the song that never <laughs> ends. This song? Fuck nice. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney, one of Paul McCartney's <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Paul, thumbs up. <laughs> Why thumbs up? Does he do thumbs up Yeah, all the time? he does thumbs up, he does peace sign, all oh that shit. God. <laughs> so... In the panic room, two housemates have to go in every hour. Mm. The earlier you're in the ha- the panic room, the longer you have to stay in. 
So why did Marley and Jess volunteer to go first? Oh, you know, because we're the big players in the house. We need to, like, ingratiate ourselves or whatever, maybe. Well, that was Take dumb. one for the team. That was stupid. So the Danny's last... like, oh, I'll go last, no problem. One housemate can enter <laughs> last mm. and obviously has the easier ride because there's 11 housemates. So every, everyone's sort of saying, oh, what could it be? Danny said it could be standing in water with eels, lapping <laughs> around your eels. <laughs> what? Okay, Why? could be, I suppose. Um, but the shit they think of. It was actually just a brightly coloured room with an annoying song playing. There were spirals on the wall, and Big Brother goes, joyful, isn't it? Mm. Sit back and enjoy the space. And then, if you're happy, you know it's time to play. To be fair, I've had worse nights out. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of the ball pit. <laughs> Not that ball pit. The bar I went to. Oh, Bully Bullison. Mm. Mm. Um, the balls are very, very clean. Spotless. <laughs> Danny wants to go last. Now, I've heard something mm. in the podcast with Ooh, Jess. Tell. Tully goes, look, Danny seems to be getting a lot of yeah. help from Big Brother. Yeah. And she goes, well, actually, Danny wasn't expressing that he wanted to go last. Big Brother called him to the diary room and he came back out being like, I'm going to go last. Oh, really? So... She goes, I, Jess was like, I don't think that Big Brother went, there's a possible advantage if you go last. Mm. But Big Brother, Big Brother might have said, oh, if you go last, you spend the least time mm. in the room. And then I Danny got that. it into his head and he came out and was like, I'm going in last. We saw him in the diary room actually mm. when I was flicking through and he was determined mm. in the diary room to come out and not go in Eesh. until last. It is a bit naughty. I can see if you were not a Dan fan how you would be rather irked that he got... Mm. That thing yesterday, he got... I've forgotten what it was now. He got this thing today, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he got the sack of balls. That was it. Yeah. Uh, you would think, two days in a row, like, if, you know, Jess had got... Steak all, dinner. Yeah, if Jess had got all the chocolate and everything, I would have been like, mm, fix. Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> but as it's Danny, we'll let, him, we'll let it slide on this occasion. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> uh, Mary goes, why does it smell like feet when she got into the room? <laughs> Uh, Danny gets his way and he is alone in the house for mm. some peace and harmony, he said. Oh, love, love, peace, peace and, and harmony. harmony. That's Ari feels like he's on acid or something, he said. Mm. Oh, do you know what it's like to be on acid, Ari? You're revealing yourself I was say, is there. it like that? Or... <laughs> it is actually a bit like that. <laughs> Definite queasy feeling, like you've had too much chicken cottage. Just said on the podcast with Tully that the spiral on the door... Mm. was making her feel sick oh, just really? from looking at it. And they had to put a bean bag over it because she was going to be sick. <laughs> she and she close her eyes? Well, probably. But then mm. Tully's like, were you even let out to go to the toilet? Mm. And then she said, no, only SJ and Tilly left the room to mm. go to the toilet. And mm. then Tully was like, Big Brother can't keep you in a room for six yeah, hours without yeah, toilets. Yeah. And she said, the only reason Big Brother let... Uh, SJ out to go to the toilet mm. is because SJ had come in with a towel mm. with her and she had said to Big Brother I'm so desperate for the toilet that if you mm. don't let me out I'm going to pee on this towel and she put mm. a towel on the floor ready to pee on it <laughs> I mean they do comps for like six hours without going for a pee I wouldn't be able to do Good that point. you know me I pee on the hour every hour sometimes like in survivor challenges people mm. have to pee themselves oh, because that, they last for 20 odd hours or whatever that's happened in Big Brother US before I remember Jackson peed himself and he won, but he did come out and say, I'm not a racist, so, you know, swings around hearts. Um, Was he? I don't know who he no, is. Oh, God that guy. Say, you watch the whole fucking series, I always forget who he is. is. He's Nicky, He's that's a why. square face. They call him Mickey. Oh, yeah, <laughs> God, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were on such close yeah, personal yeah, yeah. terms yeah. with him. Yeah, besties. Yeah. No, known him for a long melon. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Danny goes to the diary room and he got given lollies, keys, a cho- no, lollies, I mean, a cho- Red Bull... <laughs> Chocolate and a secret key. Danny. What are lollies again? Sweet. Sweet. As the lucky last housemate, you don't even need to step foot into the panic room. Uh, yeah, it was a hell week survival kit. Mm. Lot of cho- chocolate in there. God, there was like lots of dairy milk. God knows what else. There's a massive game advantage. That key unlocks the little box in the corner mm. to open up the sofa. Yeah, I mean, just the chocolate on its own would have got Sid on side. Without the whole choc- without the whole sofa business. He can save someone from eviction, including himself. He goes, what about all the lollies? Mm. <laughs> and he has to hide them. So he sticks dairy milk down his shorts. Mm. That, that would uh, <laughs> become a problem if that was me. On the kitchen counter, in his shoes. Do you remember that? 
Uh, no. He steps up on the counter in his oh, shoes, jumps across because it's so short to try, to try and put the chocolate on the top <laughs> shelf of the cupboard. Oh, yeah, and then changes his mind, goes in. up there, gets it again, <laughs> starts to hide it in a cushion. They all come out of yeah, yeah. where yeah. are they? Didn't the diary room. Mouth full no, the panic well. room. He takes the cushion outside and <laughs> throws it over the garden yeah. wall. He went, hey, how are you? <laughs> That's stupid. Till he goes, what are you eating? He's already chucked it over the fence. Mm. What? <laughs> he goes, oh, I was eating the cocoa powder. Mm. <laughs> Chocolate chips, I don't I put it in that thingo and I chucked it over the wall. <laughs> thingo. Thingo. And that was that when Jess manhandled him and ripped his shirt. Mm-hmm. That's not okay. We know. His favourite shirt, apparently. We know about messing with those underpants. It's not allowed. You stinking French slut. <laughs> Oh, yeah, did she? Did he? She he, cut up he his took this. She, yeah, she, Frenchie took some, a pair of scissors to his two hundred pound underpants or whatever it was. I mean, I'd have been pissed off as well. Two hundred pound underpants. Obviously, That's wouldn't right. have underpants that expensive. No, who would? Sid takes Danny for a talk, mm. and then Danny goes, "What do you crave the most, Sid?" <laughs> Sid goes, Air "Chocolate." Time. <laughs> <Air time. laughs> no, that's Danny. Chocolate, then he goes, leave it with me. Yeah, and Sid's like, ah, oh, don't give me this crap, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Danny gives him chocolate. He goes, you can, you can keep your mouth cut, shut, can't you? Yeah. Cut, keep your mouth shut, can't you, Sid? Yeah. And Sid said, sweet nectar of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> sweet nectar of the dairy milk gods. I like the fact they had the same chocolate as us. Well, mm, it's, it's good. just a little annex of Britain, really, isn't it? Good shit. Danny was planning this move. What was... What was Kiefer's ah. move called in the middle of the night? Oh. Um, the trap door. The trap door. We've had the trap door. Now, We've now got the, the squeeze. 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 That would be good on the echo, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that the would. Squeeze. The squeeze. We'll add that in post-production. <laughs> <laughs> His nomination plan is to nominate Marley and Mary. And squeeze In order to Jess squeeze out. Jess out. Mm. I'm here for it. He's bribing Tilly with the lollies, and she's into it, to be honest. Yeah, he said, Tilly, I'm giving you a down payment as (laughs) proof of life. (laughs) Do you know what proof of life is? When you, like, kidnap... Vital signs. Yeah, well, no, when you, like, kidnap, like a terrorist kidnaps you, and they make you, like, hold the newspaper Uh, up with the day of the week on. (laughs) Daddy's comparing giving us some sweets to that. That is not okay. (laughs) But also quite funny. It's from his army training, I'm sure. (laughs) Proof of life. Uh, Maybe we could get some title like this lolly business. Um, Proof of strife. (laughs) I've um, I've written that Danny was going around whistling if you're happy and you know it. (laughs) Having not got into the panic. Nice. Um, Hold on. Yeah. uh, Wheeling back a little bit. Free wheeling back. Yeah. If I put chocolate down my pants, it would be melted pretty damn fast, (laughs) wouldn't you? Especially especially in Australia. (laughs) Yeah. That would not last five minutes. It won't down the pants for very long. I don't know no. why I did that. God, uh, I hate it when chocolate's all melted. It's horrible. So a sto- better out of the fridge, isn't it? A, oh yeah, Jack fridge don't put bulk. his chocolate in the fridge. You need that. Oh, nice. Adriana was Storms. in the diary room. Hell's coming. Storms she, coming. She goes. <laughs> you wouldn't be that mean to keep us outside if it rains, would you? It's a big brother. Surely they can't have kept them outside in that, could they? Well, that like along the patio doors has got a roof over it. Oh, like so a they canopy. don't actually get wet. Yeah. Mm. But still, that didn't seem safe. Oh, that the storm. storm seemed really bad. Oh, storm come- oh that's mm. it. Hell's coming. Yeah. And I was getting mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ari had a diary tantrum about mm. Hell Week, basically, and I think the tasks and that. I think yeah. he said, "At least I've got a cute outfit." Mm. It's not like cute. What's this versus Sid? Oh, SJ and Sid were outside having a cup of tea in the rain. They were having a great time oh, while Ari really? was having a temper tantrum in the diary room. Mm. Danny was recruiting for his alliance again in the cave. Oh, yeah, and Jess was taking a piss going, oh, who's in the cave? What's going on? Like, she was, like, making fun of Danny for, like, doing his alliance this in the was, cave. This was funny. He goes, I'm mm. recruiting in the cave. Um, this <laughs> was, was when recruiting. he'd woken up in the morning mm. with the breakfast at Tiffany's eye mask on that you'd missed. Ah, that was good. Look out for that as Maybe the picture. Maybe we could work that into the title. Possibly. Breakfast at mm. Sonia's. Think about it. Um, but think about it, when Danny was trying to make an alliance back in the day when Nick and Melissa went, and Danny was like, who wants to be in my line? He literally had no one. Mm. I know he's had a little bit of help from his friends, like Ted, but yeah. he's still done well to build up any sort of alliance back. Yeah, you you thought that was a 
Dead Man Walking. Oh, God. I think it every single episode. Every episode, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Christina goes, you know, us recruiting is basically me, Danny and Adriana sitting in the cave waiting for people to come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no one does. <laughs> I put, why is Tilly not in there with that alliance? 